challenge to the uh, a challenge and charge to the immediate family and to those family and friends that are all all here. Not only do the parents have a role, but you all know that you all have a role. We all have a role to play. So often, as babies grow up, we want to take the sides. You know, we want to choose sides. And uh, the last thing that Jeff, I mean, that last thing that Jen and, and uh, Jeremy need is for people to come against what they're trying to do. And I charge you and I challenge you to take a hold of this family and be praying for them on a regular basis, and lifting them up, and praying for Jen and praying for Jeremy that they would be wonderful parents, that they would know the ways of the Lord in a way that they've never known Him before, that they would know Him as a father to follow, that they would be able to see the Lord and how He takes care of His children, and they can deposit that in that way. And for them to have the wisdom and knowledge, because the Bible says if anyone lacks wisdom, they should ask God, and He will grant it to them generously without finding fault. This is their first baby, their first opportunity to raise a little, a little child into the ways that she should go. And our prayer and our challenge to, uh, you know, for them is to just continue to ask for wisdom and guidance and direction. Amen? Amen. So will you commit to be a good example? to Adelaide, to always encourage her to follow the Lord, and to respect her parents. If you will, to respond with, I will. Here's a dedication prayer. This is so beautiful. It's found in Numbers chapter 6, verse number 22. It says, And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the way you shall bless the children of Israel. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make you or make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. Father, I just pray for Adelaide right now. Lord, that your power and your anointing will be upon her even at a young age that she is. Lord, I pray for the peace of God that passes all understanding upon her life. Lord, I ask in Jesus' name that you will protect her and that you will provide for her. Lord, when she is able to make that right decision, when she is able to make that decision for herself to follow Jesus Christ, I pray that you will be with her and that you will even speak to her at a young age, that she would know you personally, that she wouldn't have to go through any of the the heartache of those that do not know you, but Father, she would come to know you at an early, early age. Lord, I pray that right now we just dedicate her back to you. Father, we need you. She needs you. Jeremy and Jen need you. We say, Lord God, let your peace be upon her. Let your peace be upon them. Let your peace be upon her household. pray that right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And Jeremy has a song that he got to sing for his, his daughter and his wife's so And give her back to you. I don't want to. It's a Friday evening, you're out on the town. It's just how you like, it. there's no one around. He ain't trusting you and has something to say. You never thought that you'd see this day. And he takes you in his arms. He tells you you're divine. He turns to you and says, baby. Won't you be mine? 
It's a lazy day as you rest with your kids. There's nothing to do. Now I want to let it be. A bright little boy born just two years ago. He looks up to you and calls you his hero. He says, Mommy, can I get a hug? Cause you're my number one. Hope you know. Hope you see. Hope your life is everything it's meant to be. Oh, because I, I told you first. It's a perfect day in paradise. Your enemies swell, you didn't think twice. We're all in with you to welcome you home. We knew that you would arrive here alone. You stand before our Lord and He tells you well done. I hope you remember I was the one. Thank you.